Hello, darling. How are you doing today? Good? That's good. Hello, it's not eight in the morning. It's actually five in the afternoon. And it's cooking with Andrea again. Today we are going to make scallop potatoes. Hum, yum, yum, yum. So I don't know what Alex did with the tripod, so I'm gonna to have to try and figure out how to jerry-rig this so that you guys can sort of see what's happening. <laughs> So sorry if it's kind of like worse than last time, which was, you know, my best. All right, so this is the recipe. Scalp potatoes, I don't remember where I got it from, but I'll find it and Alex will put the link in the description for you. It's fairly simple. Well, it's a little time consuming, but it's fairly simple to do. Um, one and a half tablespoons of butter, one small onion, Thinly sliced, a couple clo cloves of garlic, minced, two cloves, eh, just that's a guideline. One and a half tablespoons of flour, I use gluten free, a uh, half cup chicken stock, which I've already thawed out and got in the pot there, a um, cup of milk, half teaspoon of salt, some pepper, fresh thyme, which I don't, so we're using dried. I've already done the conversion for you, look at how nice am I. Two pounds of potatoes sliced to an eighth of an inch thick. I recommend using a mandolin. I'll zoom in here. That's not mine, it's actually Kyle's. Thank God I was able to borrow it, but one day I'm gonna have to get my own at some point. Oh, focus, let's go. Uh, forever. Three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese, quarter cup Parmesan. I don't have Parmesan, so I'm just using whatever cheese that I have here. I feel like this is very zoomed in, but I'm not sure how to unzoom it, so you guys are gonna just have to bear with me. Hang on. Ooh. Oh yeah, it was zoomed in. Sorry about that, you guys. There, that's better. Hooray! Right, baby? Not zoomed in. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, you're eating my lip stuff again. Oh, it's brutal. Oh, baby goo. Preheat. That oven to 400. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. You guys know the drill. Get that knife nice and sharp so there's no accidents. Pet the babies. These are humongous, so maybe we will just use two. Uh. Oh, it was a double. This kid ate so much food on his birthday. I made the chili that you guys saw in that video that was a while ago. That was, I filmed that I think when he was nine months. Anyways, his first birthday just passed. And uh, wow, he ate like a bowl of chili all to himself. And he, ate, I made him smash cupcakes. He ate like two cupcakes, just nutty. His belly was so distended, it was so funny. Yeah, you had the biggest food belly ever. You were gonna have a food baby. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave it here and not mix it with the onions because if you're new to cooking, garlic cooks instantly. And it burns so fast and it tastes disgusting when it burns, so you gotta be careful. Anyways, just a moment. Put that baby on just under medium because I don't trust any recipe that tells me to cook them. I'm high. That was one and a half tablespoons of butter, right?
Seems ba, nutty. Ba, ba, ba. ba 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 ba. But the flour will evenly coat everything as it's in there. Sorry, I can't show you a better view of this. This set's kind of better. See how everything is like, everything was all juicy and I coated it and it's a little bit drier now. Okay, so now we add in the milk, which I forgot to parcel out. So I'm just gonna take that off the heat so it doesn't go too nutty. Okay, so we add the milk. We use a cup of milk and I'm pretty sure I forgot to add it to the recipe. Uh, but I think I'm supposed to add the stock right now too. So we're just gonna boop, 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 add that stock. Stock always adds a little something, something to everything. Just the rest of that milk. Okay, and then it's a, we're supposed to add the salt and the pepper and half the thyme. Well, I don't have enough time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a tired mom. Anyways, I didn't have any Parmesan cheese, so I'm adding like twice the amount of salt. And normally with the Parmesan cheese, I don't add any salt, so should be fine. It'll still be delicious. I mean, cheese, milk, and potatoes with onions. I mean, what's not going to be amazing? Okay, so, oh, it says whisk until combined. Well, whatever. This is whiskey enough. It's combined. Okay, so we just need to simmer it for a bit until it thickens up a bit. And while we wait for it to do that, we will slice the potatoes. I know they say don't feed the bears. Um, 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 um. Okay. okay, this is hard to show you guys. This is the mandolin. Underneath there's storage, which has, I'm going to take these out. They're for making like zoodles and shit. Or like french fries, I guess. I don't know. Those are really thin french fries. I tried it and they were like shoestring. Anyway, so take those out because you don't want to get them dirty because you'll just have to wash them. So you just pop it up on there. And it's good to put some paper towel underneath. Whoop. I mean, my, my counter is clean, but just to catch them predators. Oh, I'll show you a bit. I mean, as cute as the bear is, if you want the bear, we can give you the bear, but we'll show you the thing. Okay, so I just, I washed these, the potatoes, and I took off any gross yuckies. So anyways, uh, it has a, If it'll focus it has a little dealy bop on the side which is how you choose what you want and I want 1 8 so I'm just gonna pop it over to the blue one and when you do that it raises and lifts this thing so you just end up with like a, a little dip it and that's and so you just you slice you go anyways it has this super cool nifty thing with it just a moment when it looks like this and it gets thick and starts sticking together, whenever it's condensed a bit, that means it's done. That is awesome. Okay, so, that bad boy on there. This nifty thing presses into it so you can watch your little fingies. Okay, so, just press down and slide it. And as you go, you push this top bar part down. 
It's, I'm not very elegant, but you know what? It does the job. This is also really good for like making, um, what do you want to call it? Zucchini slices for if you want to make like zucchini lasagna. Okay, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to show you guys this part in a good way because it's kind of an awkward angle. But anyways, just throw some oil in there. You gotta oil her up. You don't want all those delicious potatoes sticking. I just use avocado oil, it's my favorite. I just, let's see if I can one hand this. Not quite. Just a second. Okay, so I just grease the pan and you just start layering all those gorgeous potatoes. Just like this. If this was a, for some sort of fancy dinner, I'd make more of an effort to make these look uniform. But you know what? Honestly, once all the cheese and crap's on there, nobody's going to even notice. It's just going to be a mushy, mushy mess. Anyway, so put half those potatoes. That's about half. I'm just going to go with that because I think that one big potato is like a pound and the other three together are a pound just over. So now you pour on half of the sauce. Take your sauce. Take half of it. Mine's a bit, mine probably I cooked a little too long, but that's okay. We'll make it work. It'll get in there and be delicious. And then basically just spread it so it uniformly covers all the potatoes. Okay, grate all your cheese. For this part, we are going to add half the cheese. Just sprinkle it on there evenly. Okay, now you layer, after you put on that cheese, you layer the rest of your potatoes. Don't forget about your board sous chefs. He'll get a raspberry once this is in the oven. that thing he's standing in is called a kitchen helper and because he's been real interested in watching everything that I do so I thought oh he'd probably really enjoy being able to see what I do on the cupboards or on the counters anyways but I failed to notice that it was for uh, two plus years and I suppose that's because where I've installed these boards there's big holes and if he tries to sit down he falls over backwards cuz he's just a baby so anyways I just got some wood Use some zip ties to hold it on there, so now he's like secure in there, he can't go anywhere. And he quite likes it because he gets to eat raspberries, yes. Actually, there you go. The key to my son's heart is food. He comes by it, honestly. Well, you guys were watching him, I was doing potatoes. Oops. Anyway, yeah, don't worry about how close it comes to the top. This isn't gonna rise or something or nothing. The the milk and cheese might bubble a bit, but I mean, mine I cooked so well. <laughs> it's gonna just, it's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. I made this a few times now. It's super delicious every time. Okay, let's see the potatoes. We're gonna have to move this, to put on the stuff. Oh, is that so? My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's real. I basically made Alfredo here. <laughs> Try not to do that. It works a lot better if it's much more liquidy. Or it's easier to spread, but I mean... Uh, wah, 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 wah. Is that so? Honestly, the best idea with this would have been to like heat it up again and throw a little bit of milk in there, but 
I wasn't thinking. I just want to eat these. I'm hungry. And I have no idea what I've got planned for the rest of dinner. Maybe it'll just be a scalloped potatoes night. We'll just eat this entire thing of scalloped potatoes. I doubt anybody would mind. Oh, but frails, I should like make some chicken or something. <laughs> but what kind? Probably Italian chicken. Okay. So there's that. It's usually coated much better than that. Anyways, throw on the rest of the cheese. Okay, so could actually do with more cheese, but I don't have any more cheese except for like Tex-Mex and I'm not into that on my scalloped potatoes. So I'm not actually gonna measure this, but I'm oop, gonna put, just sprinkle some thyme on top. There, that looks good. And for this recipe, what we are supposed to do is ba, 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 cover it with foil and bake it for 30 minutes. And here we go. So I don't forget mom life. Uh oh Zelda, now what? After 30 minutes, I took the foil off. I forgot to film that part because I forgot I was filming. Threw some chicken in, have some broccoli ready to go. Close her up. I'm gonna put it on for 30, but I'm gonna check it at 25. Check her out. Oh yeah. Look at that crispy cheese on top, my god. Okay, mm, nom 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 nom. We'll check it with a fork. And I'll try not to drop the camera into the oven. How about that, you guys? Oof. Oh yeah. That's done. When the it's okay if there's a little bit of resistance, but when the fork just goes through, hmm. Yeah, it's done. Oh my god. Look at all that crispy bubbling cheese. All of that just enhances the plate. Mmm. Alright, are you ready to eat it, my bear? Ooh, are you ready? <laughs> Gee smell. Yay. He was just crawling so fast that he biffed and bonked his head right on the ground because he like went ass over tea kettle. He cried for a long time. Anyways, so that's it. Fairly simple. Just take a little bit time consuming. Um, I made some broccoli, which is not quite done yet, but that's okay. And I just made some super easy chicken thighs because I was lazy and they were there. But this is the main event. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments if you tried it out. 
or if you have like any secret techniques for your like family scalloped potatoes let me know but uh these are the ones I like to make and I hope you enjoyed this take it easy